gentleman's consent to address the House for one minute and to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Last month marked 51 years since Roe versus Wade was decided, holding a woman's fundamental right to privacy in their medical decision decisions. Women's had the right, women had the right to abortion because abortion care is health care. Legal abortions have saved countless women's lives. Yet after right-wing extremists spent 50 years pushing misinformation on abortion, our Supreme Court did their bidding and stripped away the rights and freedoms of women nationwide. The far-right court claimed the Dobbs decision would simply send the choice back to the states. Instead, it sent our nation into chaos. Doctors unsure if they can help their patients. Assault survivors unsure if they can go to the police. Women crossing state lines to save their own lives. Like many of you, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted by politicians who claim to support women, support life, and then work to strip away access to contraception, fertility care, and gynecological health. I'm exhausted by the fact that my daughters-in-law and granddaughters now have fewer rights than I did. I'm exhausted that Roe is gone, and yet we must not tire. No matter how long the fight, whether in this Congress or the next, we must restore a woman's right to legal abortion. Thank you, and I yield back. And the lady's time has expired.